Hi everyone, it's Vanessa. I'm here to share with you my May TBR or the books that I'm planning to read in the month of May. I mostly have non-fiction here. I don't know why I feel more of a non-fiction mood. I already told you in my last video so I'll briefly mention that I am going to get started on The Warmth of Other Suns in the month of May. I also have it on audiobook from Scribd so my hope is to make a big dent in this in May. Hopefully maybe even finish it in May and I'm going to be going on a trip to Yellowstone and I'm going to be taking this one with me. So hopefully I'll do a lot of reading when I'm there. And then another book that I've had out for a bit, I feel like I've had it out now maybe two or three months, I think two months, is All the Young Men by Ruth Coker Burks. It is a memoir from the perspective of someone that was on the ground to kind of stop the stigma of HIV and AIDS. Um, it says it's a memoir of love, AIDS, and chosen family in the American South. Wow, the sun is going away. Is that better? Maybe. We'll see what I think about this one. It's not available on audiobook. It's only an audible exclusive. So it's another one that maybe I'll take with me to Yellowstone and hopefully I'll have lots of time to read with my eyes there. Then I am really excited about The Rope by Alex Tresniewski. This is a true crime book, but it also talks and touches on how the NAACP got started. So in this book, history and true crime collide in a murder mystery featuring characters as complex and colorful as those found in the best psychological thrillers. This sounds really gripping and interesting and I also have the audiobook ready for me for this one as well so I'm excited to get to that one and then the next two books are about policing one of them is Tangled Up in Blue Policing the American City all I know about this is that it's from the perspective of a woman that has never been involved in police work she was a law professor and then she decided to become a cop so it's her going through this experience and then showing you what she has learned as a result of it and kind of like the good and the bad that she saw while she was a cop. So the next one is We Own the City by Justin Fenton. It follows the exact same case as a book that I've read previously, but I've heard that this book is better and it is something that I want to learn more about. So it follows this group of cops who are part of this special task force that um, tries to collect guns off the streets in Baltimore, but they were actually really dirty cops. A lot of the time they were stealing money off of suspects and things like that. Then they, they were found out and it became this huge situation with like how it looked for the Baltimore Police Department to be involved in these situations and what that meant for the relationship that they had with the community. I've also uh, heard news that this is actually going to become an HBO miniseries which makes me super excited. Produced by David Simon who produced The Wire and Treme and a bunch of other shows on HBO. I always like the way that he makes his shows because they feel very three-dimensional. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm still not sure if it's going to be like a documentary series or if it's going to be kind of a fictionalized version of what happened. Both David Simon and Justin Fenton um, were involved with the Baltimore Sun and were reporters there and that's kind of how they know each other. I'm very fascinated to learn more about the story for sure. And I also have this one on audiobook. Editing me here to say that one book that I forgot to mention is actually Homicide by David Simon, which at one point I checked out from the library, but then I had to return turn and now I got it from script since I have script now for The Warmth of Other Suns. The only times that I've been reading it have been when I only have my phone as an entertainment option, but so far it's good. It basically touches on all the same people that were then fictionalized in The Wire, and so I'm hearing kind of the same names, which is fascinating, but I will say that the writing is definitely a little dated in the way that David Simon writes about women and writes about victims. There are definitely comments that I would say are misogynistic or not in good taste. We'll see what I think about that, but that's what I'm thinking so far about it. So the next thing that I want to talk about is all of the adult fiction. One that I want to try to get to is The Divines, which I've shown on my channel before, I think. It came out earlier in the year, but then I had to give it back. I didn't get to it in time and it was due. I am interested in this one. We'll see what I think. Also, I love the pink on the cover. And then I also have one more fiction novel, and that's Leave the World Behind by Ruman Alam. This is a book that I've been looking forward to for a while. I feel like every time that I hear about it, it seems something kind of up my alley, like a thriller that has a meaning and kind of a, a metaphor to it or, uh, you know, like a point that the author is trying to make about society. So that has piqued my interest. I have heard that this is one that like kind of keeps you on the edge of your seat and also just makes you question everything. So all of those comments I've kept circulating in my head and now that makes me want to pick it up. Then the last three uh, adult books that I have are all um, short story collections. So that's another thing that I talked about in my last video that I'm looking forward to trying out more short story collections. So I picked up 
three different short story collections. One is um, The Secret Lives of Church Ladies, another one that I saw on Libra FM as an ALC, and I've just heard multiple people talk really highly about this book. I think it's so fascinating that this comes from our university press. I also have The Office of Historical Corrections by Daniel Evans. This is basically all ones that I've seen on Libra FM. I don't know honestly what these short story collections focus on and I don't want to know. I think the buzz is enough for me. And then the last one is How to Pronounce Knife. I do think this one focuses on like the immigrant experience and language. That is always something that I find fascinating. So I'm curious to see what I think about this book. And this is by Suvan Kam Tamabongsa. All right, so that is it for the adult fiction books. I only have one young adult book and that is The Firekeeper's Daughter. Another one that I have the audiobook downloaded from Libro FM and my physical copy. I've had it suspended for quite a few months and there's so many holds on it now. So it's definitely, I feel like making the rounds and I've just kept hearing people say that it's actually really, really good. Pretty much everyone has said that it's a marvelous debut. And then the only middle grade I have is one that I showed you last month and that's Premeditated Myrtle, which is just a mystery and you series and it's set in England. Yeah, I only have two graphic novels. Both of them are fiction ones. One of them is The Magic Fish by Trung Le Nguyen. This book I've heard really nice things about. I love the inside and it talks about fairy tales and stories and um, a mother and a child reading stories together. And then the other one that I have is Nubia Real One. This is by L.L. L. McKinney and Robin Smith. And this one, I believe it is a superhero story. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So she has all of these amazing powers, but nobody wants to be involved with her trying to save anyone. I wonder if it's a Wonder Woman spin-off thing. So we'll see. And that's it for my May TBR. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any comments about these books, want to read any of them or have read any of them let me know and i will see you in my next video bye bye